birthday. We were we were actually yeah, out birthday, last Bob. night after, after the meeting. Um, um, Tara and and Jeff Pincock and so just some of the folks that were at the Orlando meeting last night. We went out to um, the high fields and stuff and um, to a local watering hole um, near the hotel. And um, really, <laughs> and we just and literally it was like a local watering hole. It's like we looked in and had to think twice if we were going to walk in. We weren't yeah. quite sure if we were going to walk in, but. But since it was seven of us, we did. But um, we waited, well, we probably left at five after 12. I think everybody waited to 12 o'clock. So it was officially Bobby's birthday yes. <laughs> could, <laughs> to say it. But it was it was a great night. Um, you know, I know Cheryl and Steve were there last night and, and Jennifer is on here. She was there too. Um, but... One of the things I want to talk to you about, and I'm going to pull up a list, is we, we've we emphasized the importance of attending the meetings and, and, and events and utilizing them. And I know a lot of times it just sounds like the same old message or it, it falls on deaf ears. And, and for no reason other than it's not like malicious or intended that way, it's just like, People are generally look, and if it's not within a half hour or an hour where they live, they just ignore it. And what I want to talk to you about, you know, when when April and I and some and you know, Jaya was around, Lynn was around, Noel was around in in our old company, but whenever there was a meeting anywhere in the United States, in our old company, other than Netherlands, it was just in the United States. That that's that's all it was. Whenever there was a meeting. We never, ever let a meeting happen anywhere in the United States where we didn't have guests, okay? We, we sent guests into every meeting, whether we had a team there or not, okay? We found, if we found out there's going to be a meeting, we'd run ads, we'd, we'd fax the docs in the area, we'd do all kinds of stuff, but we never wanted to make, waste the effort of somebody coordinating a good meeting. OK, where the only responsibility that we had was to put a fanny in a chair. OK, and we didn't have to do anything else. Someone else was going to do the meeting. Someone else was going to set up. Someone else was going to break down. And we, we didn't have to do nothing other than get a fanny in the seat. And Liddy, you remember, I mean, you guys had training centers out there and stuff. It was, you know, it really was just foolish to allow an event to happen and not have fannies in the seats, okay? I mean, so I'm gonna take a couple minutes tonight to talk about that because over the next 90 to 120 days, you are going to have a lot of opportunity to plug people into meetings that you don't need to do. And for you California folks and you Chicago folks, you gotta go all out for the meetings that are happening by you. OK, the ones that are going to be near you and there's going to be more coming up. But let me let me pull up what's what's has not yet happened yet. In the United States, as far as as far as um, new meetings go. OK, so can you guys see that schedule? Did that pop up? OK, mm -hmm. yeah. OK, so yet to come now as we're speaking there's some cities so i didn't bring them up because they're they're getting underway shortly tonight but um i know there's a meeting in houston tonight there's a meeting in cleveland tonight there's a few other areas where there's meetings tonight but that's gone okay so still remaining on the schedule now this is what they're calling the evolve compensation tour and it's going to be going on for 90 to 120 days and there's probably going to be 20 to 25 cities that are hit with a meeting each month where corporate is going to be involved and there's going to be FAB members or pro tens doing the meetings. So obviously there will be other meetings that go on that other people are doing. OK, like for Chicago, for example, and we're going to start really um, pushing this now. February 3rd and 4th, April is going to be up there with, you know, Dr. Castori and Dr. Grigian, Dr. Goodman and, and their teams. Okay. 
So, you know, um, I know that Zuma has a team up there. Um, obviously, the group here has a team there, but you want to go all out to get special training on Friday night, okay? Figure something out on how to how to do some training, um, either as a group or small groups or whatever it is with April. Saturday is, is the meeting at Dr. Grieg's office, same as last time, but you wanna take advantage of that. Now, April, did we, um, did we confirm the 22nd with corporate? They had given you that date, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So mark this on your calendars and we'll get you details. This one is still a month away. But three weeks later, um, April's going to be back, okay, on February 22nd. Now, this is going to be a weeknight. This is, what is it, a Wednesday night, I think? Yes. So this is going to be a Wednesday night, but this is going to be corporate coming, okay? So you have an opportunity in the next four weeks, you're going to have two big opportunities to really build up your business um, in the Chicago area and your teams to build up and to see quality presentations, meet great people, talk to doctors. You're going to have a lot of stuff going on. And, and the way that you leverage this, okay, is you don't look at the 22nd. You block that date on the calendar that there is no nothing going to get in your way other than you're going to be at that meeting with guests, but you turn all your focus into getting new customers, old customers, distributors, and prospects to attend the third and fourth. Now, why the third and fourth? So they can take advantage of the 22nd also. You know, imagine they see a great meeting, they see great people, they get all excited on the third and fourth, and corporate's coming in two and a half weeks later to, to support the area again, okay? And this is all we did in our early days. And you and you could talk to the people that knew us before, but this is all we did. So it didn't matter if we didn't know anyone in the area because we would advertise, okay? And the one thing about this company, nobody advertises. Uh, I've never seen anything like it, you know? I mean, nobody just, nobody advertises. But that's that's how we did it, okay? So let me share a couple things with you. Coming up, in Fairfield, California, so that today's Tuesday, Thursday night, okay, in Fairfield, California, you're going to have Tyler Daniels and Tara Wilson, okay, we just had them last night, okay, it don't get any better than that, and, and for my California friends, plan on a four-hour meeting, <laughs> it's a four-hour meeting, okay, there will be a 20 to 30-minute opportunity meeting before it starts, there will be some regular training on, on what's going on with the new compensation. But then Tyler took questions for almost two hours after the kind of, the meeting was scheduled seven to nine. We had the room to midnight, okay? And Tyler said he will stay and answer questions until the last question it answered and he didn't care how late it got, okay? It, it just didn't matter. And you got these two, and they were they were just freaking awesome last night. We had 90 people, you know, in Orlando last night, and, and they were incredible. So you want to go all out for that. But if you look, two more down on the schedule, Brentwood, California is only about an hour away, maybe not even an hour away. Okay, imagine the piggybacking that could be done between those two. Okay, and in Brentwood... Think about this for a second. In Brentwood, California, on Saturday, Rye Fry and Kerry Dickey. Okay. It just doesn't get any better than that, folks. You got Tyler Daniels and Tara Wilson. And that's not including all of the great distributors that are going to be there with them. Okay. Those are the featured speakers. But I know Michelle Scaff is hosting it. You know, the we're talking about Rye Fry and Kerry Dickey but I know Angie Harper and Kristen Bailey are hosting it. You know, these are the top personal producers in the world. I'm talking about personal production, okay? They're the best. What was what was Kristen Bailey's numbers, Tara told us last night we were having at the bar? Um, it was 172 distributors and customers. She enrolled in, in her first what? Three months, I think it was. 
It was three months or 120 days. She enrolled 172, mostly customers, probably like 140 customers and 30 distributors, something like that. But, you know, that it's so these are the people hosting so they can listen to Rye Fry and Kerry Dickey. But I'm telling you, this week in California, you, you need to get people in front of these people. Your businesses will explode. And I can tell you, April and I have been very fortunate to, we have very, very close relationships with Kristen and Angie, okay, in California, and Rye Fry and Kerry Dickey also. And please, when you go, go introduce yourself if they don't know you, okay, if, if they're not sure, tell them, you know, that we're friends, we work together, you're, you're on our team. They are looking forward, I can tell you, Angie and Kristen came running up to me in April when we were in Puerto Vallarta and they were all excited. And I'm not sure if it was Lynn or Noel or Lydia, all of them, but that they had called to say that they would be coming, you know, to the meeting. And they were all excited that they were gonna have an opportunity to help our team. You know, and I mean, running up out of the blue to us to tell us that. So that is the kind of warm welcome that you're gonna get. Okay, and your guests are going to get if you take advantage of that. Okay, but look at these other places. Okay, Polk City, Iowa. If I'm not mistaken, Dr. Ply used to live over there. That's just on the other side of Illinois. It's not, it's just on the other side of the water. Okay, it's not that far from, you know, what is it, the Mississippi that goes through there? It's just the other side of the river and it's Iowa. Okay, so. Think about who is within an hour or two of those areas, okay? I'm not sure where Bellingham, Washington is, but that's the state of Washington, okay? Think of who you know. Who do you know in Hawaii? I mean, you cannot go wrong with the people speaking. Sean Poe is going to be in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I mean, Zuma, I don't know if you saw the Puerto Rico date there, San Juan, I mean, this is, you know, Mark Shinsato and, and Lorda, Lorda Rodas. I mean, th these are really, really good people doing, doing meetings and stuff there. So this is just this week. Okay, this is just what's going on this week. And then we have the Chicago date. So there's going to be a full schedule for February. We're just waiting for them to give it to us. Okay. But April, do you want to add anything to that? Yeah. So, you know, the way that I look at this and, and, you know, we've talked a lot about getting customers, talking to old distributors and stuff. But when I look at all these dates, you know, it can be a little overwhelming. The thing that we need to keep in mind is we're in networking. And so you can't ask for all these places. But, you know, what Bobby and I used to do is we used to divide up. And this comes from way back at the beginning when we got involved in the business our first area to pop was actually California. Well, we had little kids. We were flying back and forth and we kind of made a business decision at that point. We were going to stay East Coast for a while. One is the time zone. You know, it's a, it's a killer doing something three hours later at night. So, you know, an eight o'clock call is 11 o'clock at night there. So uh, look at the dates and the particularly the cities that are closest to you. And one of the things that you should be doing is asking people who they know. And so when I talk about who they know, it can be somebody in these cities. Maybe they've said something that they grew up in, uh, like we were at Holly last night. And I don't really know exactly where, but we know they grew up in Ohio. So like if she wasn't in the business already, I might say, you know, who do you know in Ohio that may be near wherever this meeting is going on? Or so, you know, when you look at those things, think about the people that you know and who they know. They may not live there, but maybe they live by you and they originally grew up, you know, like it would be like somebody saying, April, you know, who do you know in New York? Yeah, I'm in Florida. They're in Florida. Maybe it's a Florida meeting, but there's going to be a meeting going on in New York. And so they may ask me, who do you know in New York? So, you know, we Tell need what to Tara told said from the front of the room. And then again, when we're having drinks later, that that was her line for what, three yeah. years? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So she's built, you know, a multi-million dollar business just asking, who do you know? And so, you know, whether it's, you know, people that you know already, you know, when you think about 
the repeat income, we're going to get that 30%. And there's, there's a good illustration. There's a couple of good illustrations that we need to keep in mind and a couple of numbers that we need to get down. But, you know, this opens the door, that 30% repeat income for doing, you know, 4,000 in sales opens the door for doctors, opens the door for nail salons, for churches, non-for-profits, um, you know, anybody that wants to make money, that repeat income is huge. So we need to keep that in mind as we go through our database again. So maybe it's not a meeting right now, but maybe you're going through people in your phone. I just been, I've been writing people's, you'll see every once in a while my pen pops up and there's somebody else I remember I have to call. It reminds me of being in the beginning. Like when you first get started and you're so excited, you go to bed, you think of somebody and you have to have that list right next to you on the nightstand because you don't want to forget the next day when you're super busy making calls. So the same thing should be going on that you have that list and you're asking people, who do you know? Who needs money for a non for profit or for a charity, you know, whether they're a doc or a nail salon? We all know these people. And I tell you, I saw a statistic today, and I wish I would have written a little bit more of it down. The number of stores that are closing this coming year, JCPenney's, all these, these, the Walmart is, is closing a bunch of stores. The economy is getting hard. It's there. People are talking about eggs now. They're talking about eggs. Have we ever talked about eggs before? I mean, it's like it's like every other word. Somebody's like, you know, eggs are this. I mean, we, we talk about eggs like it's the stock market lately. It's worse than gas. So, you know, things are getting hard out there. People are joking, but they're not joking. They are serious. They have sticker shock when they go into the food store these days. You see it even on um, social media a lot of times. So, some of the ladies are just posting their, their food receipts because they've just gone up so much. Well, you know what? If it's a topic of a conversation, that means something's going on and people are gonna need to make money. So what would be some extra money for somebody that would be you know, important? Do you realize that if we get somebody doing 4,000 in, in sales themselves at the 30%, that's an extra 1,200 um, a month. That's 1,200 a month, that's a lot. That's a lot of money for somebody. And what is that? That was that like 48,000 per year. And I'm horrible with math, but some of these figures we need to know by like the back of our hand. There are some things in our business that we need to be able to regurgitate very easily. Want to show somebody how to make money super quick. This is how you can make an extra 1200. What does that mean to somebody? Is that their, I don't know, is that their car payment and maybe or a fuel bill? Think of the people where it's cold now. I, you know, I hear the price of oil and filling up, uh, you know, the oil tank and, and the price of that. So, you know, you can relate it to something. But if you get two other people to do that four thousand, then that means um, that you're making two thousand a month. Two thousand a month. Well, you know, that's like some entry level jobs and stuff where people can now stay home. You know, when you cut back and you don't have to pay the gas, the babysitter, need the clothes and the lunch and stuff, that makes that it may only be 50,000, but you, and then you think about the write off with the spouse, you could go on and on and on. I mean, we really have it's, something it's here called that you and two. Yeah, you and two. So it's, it's, this is, you know, you need to know this as you talk to people, whether if you could just show them the 4,000 quickly, depending on who they are. If, even if now it let, took let April put it in perspective, just so you know what four thousand is, it's forty collagen customers, and actually it's thirty six. Okay, collagen customers, thirty six collagen customers is four thousand points, is twelve hundred a month every month. Okay, every month, and you teach two people. That's it to do the same thing and you're at 24,000 a year. I mean, it's you and two and all that is is 36 collagen customers. April? So you, you think about somebody that's trading um, time for dollars, nail salon, hair salon. We also um, saw a cool thing we're gonna work on is um, 
QR codes on the posters so people can go up and, and hit your website. So we're going to work on that next. We thought that was pretty cool that we learned somebody had said yesterday. But again, we're in the networking business. So, you know, if you go through your database and you don't find somebody, you've got to start asking people who they know and get into theirs, um, you know, because that's all network. You know, I had it today on the tennis court. A lady came up to me. And I, I didn't know which way she was going to go with this one. Uh, I'd made brownies for a Christmas party before Christmas. And I remember being um, super, super busy time. And, you know, so I made some packaged brownies and I guess they were OK. But I had this really cool pan for Pampered Chef. And so she she comes running up to me today at tennis and she's like, oh, my God, those brownies. You know, what's the recipe? And I'm thinking, I don't even know what box I made them out of. They were totally box brownies. And I'm thinking, is she going to say they were bad, good, or whatever? I'm just like, so, it's so, it's so fun. Because I'm so intimidated by the ladies in Florida. They cook everything. And I'm just like, I, I just, I think I'd rather do anything than that. But anyway, it turned out she wanted the pan from Pampa Chef because she's like, how do you make the curved edges and stuff? And I'm thinking, it's the pan. It was the pan that you really want. But I put her in touch with the girl that sold me the Pampered Chef, who is uh, buys, you know, our wellness products, you know, buys life vanished products. So it's like that's networking. You have to be aware of that, because if I do something good for you, you'll remember me and you'll do something back. And so, you know, that those things are door openers. Um, you know, we've I see you wanted to say something. Yeah. yeah just just so I don't forget this, because I know I just took the city list down. A good place to start is whatever customer base that you have, check and see where they live. Okay, see where they live and see if any of the meetings coincide, mm -hmm. you know, with where they live. Obviously, in your local area, whether it's California or Chicago, you got a lot of people on the products there and there's going to be meetings there and you should invite them all, okay, to be there. But for the ones of you that are getting customers online, okay, or getting some customers that you don't necessarily, you know, know a lot about, maybe they were referred by somebody else, look and see where they live, you know, go in your back office, see where they live. And, and you can always pick up the phone and say, hey, we haven't had a conversation like this, but I just found out that our company is going to be sharing information about that product you're using real close to you. Is that something you may want to look at? And you got a reason to, you know, to follow up with them and stuff. So always look at your customer list and then look at the meeting list and see if any of them coincide. Go ahead, April. Um, so so this all I'm going to shift gears. So you get the networking part, look at people you know, think about people who know people, that type of thing. Um, the other thing with your customers is the company is initiating a really strong customer referral program. Now, well, not loyalty program, let's say loyalty program, where they're going to get money back, they're going to get a, a full size for the second order, they're going to get full size on the anniversary. And, you know, if they're on an auto ship now, they'll be put into a special, um, path there where they'll actually get $20 off each 200. They'll get It'll be an insider. An insider. That's the term. Yeah. So I say all that, not because you need to know that, but if you have people on scripts now or somebody that comes on and off, like I have some people that have been customers with us for a long time and they prefer to pick up the phone and just you know, say, April, can I have this or can I have that? Or maybe, I don't know if you have some people that are just fearful of auto ships. They don't want to be on an auto ship, but they call you every month. You need to explain to them why it is very much to their benefit to stay on that auto ship now. It, it's truly for their benefit so that they'll get the, the full discount on these products and then they'll get the freebies too, which is nice. But um, uh, and, and explain, April, the a lot of a lot of distributors do not know that you can put if somebody calls you and they're on subscription now and they and, and and let's just say they're putting it on hold for now you can move it three four months out okay where it doesn't ship but they're still on subscription and they don't start over with the loyalty program see if they cancel their subscription 
wherever they are with their points in the loyalty program, it it ends and then it starts again. Okay, when they when they go back on script. And so what I'm saying is you never ever should allow anybody to cancel their subscription because there's no limit to how far out you can move it. And as long as they're on subscription, that doesn't mean it has to ship every month. So don't let them do that. And what will happen is they'll stay with their discounted pricing. They'll get the best price. They'll get the most points on their anniversary. They'll get a free present, you know, a, a free product. It's twice a year. What is it for the anniversary? And what was the other one? The second month. Um, on, on subscription. Right. Yeah. So you're on subscription two months in a row and you get a free product and then your anniversary, you're going to get a free product and then you're going to get a $20, you know, credit towards your purchase for every 200 points. And we need them on subscription now because they will start the loyalty program as an insider. And the insider has a big advantage because they're not starting from zero. They're starting from the top. Okay, in the program with their points. There's sheets there. You can read up on the loyalty program, but again, Tara did a wonderful job last night of explaining it in distributor terms, you know, where we understand it because corporate talks corporate. Okay. And and Tyler and Tara were so good with talking it in in our language, the way we understand it. And um, and they they did a great job. One, um, two things I want to say, and then I'll give it back to you, April. Tomorrow is the 25th. So that's the last subscription date, okay, for January. So after the subscriptions go out tomorrow, take a close look at where you are because you still got a week to close out the month. And we got a lot of things going on. You know, there's a lot of meetings going on. There's all kinds of things. We want to be running up to March 1st. And that's the that's what you're going to hear you know, no matter what meeting you go to or what Zooms you listen to, or what trainings you listen to, we want to be full steam ahead momentum when March 1st hits and all these changes take effect, okay? And one other thing I want to share with you is starting next week on Sunday night, we are moving our, these fast start Zooms back to Sunday nights, which is what we did for 13 years in our old company. OK, and wait, the only reason we stopped in the old company is we just didn't need to do them anymore. OK, there, there just wasn't a need for it. But we're going to go back to eight o'clock Eastern on Sunday nights. It had been our old time, you know, for 13 years. And um, there's just we don't want to be competing with all the stuff that's going on on Monday nights where people have to pick or choose you know, what to, what to plug into. And, and I can tell you, you can say whatever you want about Sunday night. I don't care if that's your favorite or not favorite. It worked great for 13 straight years. Okay. And, you know, where we're, and it'll still be recorded and we'll still post it in the group and all of that, but change your calendars from Mondays at seven to Sundays at eight, that's Eastern. And then, you know, just adjust accordingly. So but go ahead, April. I think we can uh, we can open it. It's already half hour, so okay. Um, any starting questions? when, Bobby? Did you say that that was starting on Sunday? Sunday, yeah. This coming Sunday. Yep, this coming Sunday. Instead okay. of Monday, it'll be Sunday. The only yeah. reason we didn't do last night on Monday or um or this past Sunday, Jeff Pincock, who's the vice president of sales for Life Vantage. He came in on Sunday and wanted to spend the day with me in April, and we were watching foot, two games of football. God bless April. I mean, they beat me. <laughs> she just <laughs> so we were with we were kind of entertaining him on Sunday. Okay, so we didn't do Sunday night, and then Monday last night was the Orlando event. So that's why we had no choice but to do it tonight. But we're going to be Sunday nights at eight Eastern. Um, moving forward. Okay, so Central will be seven, it'll be five year time. Thank you. Uh, Bob, I want to know where exactly these meetings will be in Fairfield and uh, 
Brentwood in California. Just click, just go to the US. Um, the easiest thing to do is go to the big blue calendar in the back office. Okay. They're all there, all the contact information, all the names of who's doing them and stuff. They're all there. I know that Noel and Lynn and Alex and Lydia, and I, they're going to these meetings. You can check with them. And, you know, I'm sure they'd say hi to a guest or if you plug somebody in. I know they're attending those meetings. So, but it's the big blue calendar, folks. If you don't know where that is, when you log into your back office, it's the very top right corner. So if you log into your, you know, the Evo, you put where you put in your ID number and password, you go in your back office, that first page where you see all your statistics and stuff, the top right corner, you'll see big blue calendar and just click on that. And all the meetings will be there. Whatever's going on any day of the month, if it'll be there, okay? Now the list I just put up is also on Facebook on the US distributor page on, on Facebook. So you can go there too, okay? Um, hey, Bob. Who was that? Uh, Steve. Hey, oh, hi, uh, Steve. I was gonna ask you, when, when, when was the last time you looked for an address in the, in the back office for a customer? All you do is click on their order. Okay, because because uh, I couldn't find it because it, it always been right there. Yeah. It is right there. That never changed. If you just click on their their order history and then their order number comes up, you click on the order number and their whole address, phone number, yeah, okay. email, everything. Yeah, they moved it then. Okay. It will be there even on the app. On the app too, right? Yeah. On the app too. Okay. I I find everything on the app. But all you do, if you want all the details of their order, you click on the order number, wherever you see the order number, and then it'll give you the billing address and the shipping address. It'll give you both. All right. So, Bobby, this is Lady? Yeah. I have a Hi. question. So the people that the, are guests, there's no place to register them. So how do we pay for them? Guests are free. Guests are free. Okay, okay, good. And okay. moving forward, guests will always be free. All right, any event, anywhere, guests are going to be free. Okay. okay, great. Thank you. So I, you know, in the future, you know, they, they this has been going on for 18 months, you know, with all of these changes. This has been a, a really long project. Once all of this takes place in March and the transition officially begins. They may change the registration where we can register guests and stuff like that. That may happen. But right now, guests are free. And the only thing that we're asking, like with Orlando, we're just saying, hey, if you're bringing two, three, four guests, just let us know so we make sure we have seats. Mm -hmm. OK, because, you know, hotel rooms charge by size. OK, and and there's so many seats. And we we had a big challenge in Orlando. And the thing that saved us we were using a hotel that was supposed to be used for an LVA. But if you remember, the last LVAs got canceled and they did them all virtually. So it, wow. so it never happened. So we never used this hotel until now. Well, the room that I looked at, because I had to inspect the room for the company to make sure it was okay for the LVA, the room I looked at had since gone under construction. Wow. So they had a partition across the room that cut the room in half. And they had made it, turned it into a storage area is what they had actually done. So anyway, the hotel manager was just fabulous. And we had to pay a little extra, but they brought in help to empty the room out so we could move the divider, add chairs and push the screen back, you know, make more room. But if you have guests coming, one or two guests, that, that's okay. But every once in a while, you know, somebody will fill up their car with guests and show up. And if you'd like a heads up if that's happening, you know. But guests are free, Liddy, every meeting. And that's why I say if you're looking at your customers and you're looking to see if they're near one of these meetings, they can attend for free. You know, and you guys, you know, we've all been, I mean, everyone's been in a different amount of time, but April and I, and some of you have been with us for the five years since we joined, 
you know, you may already have relationships with the speakers, but if you don't, we do. Okay. And we can say, hey, you know, some <coughs> Michelle Poe had had um started a group text with me in April because she had new people coming and just set up a group text. So we'd say hi, you know, and they didn't feel like they were strangers, you know, and, and stuff. So you let us know if you got someone coming. And if you don't know the people doing the meeting, we'll make sure they find out. Okay. That's awesome. I have a question. Uh, just going back to the loyalty program for somebody who's been a customer for a, a while and on auto uh, shipment, the loyalty program for them also applies, but doesn't start until March. Is that what's- Yeah, the lo all the things we're talking about now start in March, okay? We just, like, if you, there's a video on it now and there's there's sheets explaining all the details. It's public now. Okay. What a lot of people are doing is, it's another reason to reach out to your customers and reach out and touch and have a conversation with them and let them know that this, you know, starting in March, they're going to be accumulating points and they're going to be getting free product, okay? Right now, would they say the first free product is going to be the new D3? Yeah. Okay, and then the company will choose what they get, but they'll be getting a free product. It's going to be twice a year, the second month in and, and then their anniversary. And um, and then they're going to be getting, you know, $20 whenever they hit 200 points, okay? Or maybe 10 at 100 and 20 at 200. All the details are on the sheets and there's a video on it. Okay. So you can let them know and say, if they ever need to, um, skip a month because they're going on vacation or something, make sure they never cancel it. They just move it further out so they don't lose their points. You know, and use an analogy like, like points on a plane, you know, how you get your mileage for points and stuff. You don't ever want to have to go back to zero. You want them to keep accumulating. So you just move it out, you know, and, and it's so easy to do with our subscriptions right now. You know, we, you don't even have to talk to anybody at the company. They can do it themselves. You could help them do it. Okay. But it's a great reason to have a new conversation with them and say, hey, did you know about our new AM product, our new PM product, our new D3? Did It's one of those, did you know, have you heard? You know, and, and then you can talk to them about the loyalty program. So, you know, this is all about, conversations and touches and staying in touch with people and developing relationships with them. And you do the same thing when you find out there's a meeting in their area. You know, it's it's the same thing. You know, we've had so much coming at us. The, um, the AM PM um, combination is allowing people to really sleep. And it's not meant to be a sleep product, but when you look at the sleep market, it's a huge market out there. A lot of people really have a problem sleeping and time, and the company did not promote it as a sleep. They just said nutrition we need in the evening as opposed to nutrition we need in the morning. But time and time again, you know, Bobby and I included so many people. The theme is- I have been an awful sleeper, okay? Forever, okay? I my brain just does not want to turn off when I go to bed. Period. It just doesn't want to turn off. And man, I am sleeping like a freaking baby now. And I used to always get up before April. And we're both early risers. Man, half the mornings now she's up a half hour before me. I'm still out cold in in the bed. That hadn't happened in thirty years. And that's the PM product, you know. And so I'm telling you. It, we have so many good products now, but those are, you know, those are the testimonies that we're getting back. That's a new product, but some of us have been on it for three months. You know, they gave us a three month supply. So there would be testimonies three months back. Okay. And it's, they're amazing products, you know, amazing products. And, but it's again, another reason to reach out and say, did you know, have you heard, did you see the email that went out? That's another thing. You want to make sure that their cell numbers and their email, one of the things companies asking for, please make sure that all their information is correct because the company is going to be doing more and more marketing for us to our customers. But, you know, 
if the phone number is wrong, they're not going to get the text. If the email is wrong, they're not going to get the email. You know, if they can only send them communication if what they got is correct. Okay, so it could be another reason to reach out. Hey, I just want to double check. Is this still your current email? Is this the correct cell phone? The company is going to start sharing new information with you via text and via email. And it's just another excuse to pick up the phone and talk to them. But it's getting really cool because, and I think you all realize that you're, you're doing a great job. Everybody on here has gotten customers, everybody. It's crazy. I mean, some people had a hard time with it. I think talking more benefits instead of, you know, the ingredients of just protanum, talking about collagen and skin, talking about sleep. I mean, it, I mean, I, I'm just blown away with the numbers as they pop up. You know, you have that that corner of the computer and everybody's doing such a great job. So it, it's good. Did you guys see the the picture I stuck in the collagen group yesterday? It was the girl. Oh yeah. Okay. That, that was, that's somebody that's been a, a friend of Rachel's for um, like 20 years or so, 25 years, it, just like a childhood friend, a, a high school friend, something like that. I mean, these, these are just pouring in. Okay. They're pouring in, they're coming in from everybody. And all you got to do is show pictures, man, in this business. Now it's, and you don't have to be on social media. You can use your cell phone. You know, you just, just have an album on your phone in your photos of before and after pictures, just, just have, have an album of it. But it's gotten so easy because now we're finally out of the science business for, you know, and that doesn't mean the science ain't being done on the products. It means we're just not going to talk about it no more. Okay. And if they want to see it, they can go to PubMed or they can go to the, you know, the Facebook page and read up on it, but we're not in that business. We're in the show and tell show them before and tell them about the after that that's the business that we're in and i'm telling you if you want to see duplication you talk science with somebody that's not a sciencey person and they're out period they're out okay you show somebody a picture before and after and they buy they can show pictures they could see themselves doing it because what did you do well you showed them pictures well, they 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 want to see, well, what did they do to me? Well, they showed me pictures. Well, I could show people pictures, okay? And all of a sudden, they see themselves doing it versus I don't want to know what Jay knows, okay? I don't want to hear that science. I'm not as smart as her. I don't want to do that, okay? Now you don't get into that no more. Now it's like, wow, look at that picture. I love the ones where they split their faces in half. You know, where you see the half a face before and the half a face after. I love those ones. So those get my attention more than anything. So what else you got? Any other, Lynn? Um, um, where do we find the, the documentation on the new um, programs and stuff? Because I looked before and I couldn't find it. And they, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Facebook group has it. Like manage, yeah, the distributors, the globe, not the global, the U.S. distributors. Okay. All the PDFs, the papers are on, on the Facebook site. If you go, they just broke down the, the compensation into four trainings. I just posted those links on our training page, our team, you know, training page. Okay. Um, so anytime they're giving us anything that's either a PDF or a link, we'll put it in our training page. But you can always find it on the Life Vantage Facebook page. Always. That, that's where they are. But we'll also put it on our page. So um, I just saw an email yesterday from uh, Life Vantage. They have given it and very nicely in different, different things. It is so good. I think we can just print it that's out. That's why, Jaya, and, that's why it's important that people's emails are correct. Yeah. They, they have new people doing the emails. They have new people designing them. And they're in, what they're doing is what you just described. When that email comes out, there's five or six different links in that email that'll give you the things like we're talking about, okay? So you're getting one email that's got it all. But yeah. if you miss the it email, divides. you're missing it's a lot. Competition plan, very yep. nice. Yep. Yeah, that's why their email is important, okay, that it's got to be incorrectly. 
And if you're like me, I'd rather you text me, okay? So if they're a text person, you want to make sure their cell number is right, you know, with the company. And so that, you know, I, I prefer to get a text to an email, but I check both, so it don't matter. But that would be my choice. So there, LifeVantage has a number if you're not getting text messages from them and you want it. Um, it's, pardon me, I got to look at it. It's 833-264-6600. And you have to text them the word join. Okay, so I'll say- so If you're not getting texts from LifeVantage, that's all you got to do is text that number with the word join. Obviously, they'll have your cell number because you texted them and they'll add you. Let's see. Regarding have... Chicago, uh, if somebody wants, okay, Chicago is a mix. There's customers that might want to be distributors and they're just customers that want to be customers. So Friday, it's a good day to invite possible distributors. Can a customer anyways go on Friday? Because sometimes it's a great for you and Catalina, you, whatever you, yeah. you look into that. Yeah, we haven't we haven't mapped out and Jay, we haven't mapped out the whole schedule, but um the I think we do to. have is is Tyler said he'd do something for us on a Zoom Friday night to go over comp plan. So yeah. I would say. More and you're going to need to confirm that with him because you saw yeah. his schedule. So yeah. So um, and I know Catalina had me on the phone today with some people that want to come in Friday night to talk anyway. So I would think Saturday would probably be the better day where we'll do just do the traditional overview of, you know, um, opportunity and stuff. Well, and you got a later yeah. flight, April. You have like a seven o'clock flight home, so you got all a Saturday afternoon too to. Okay. All right, your flight, you're not, it's your flight's like three hours later this time. So you won't oh, good. get out. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. So I would, I would think Saturday would be more customer friendly. Yeah. Because we'll talk more collagen like we did last time and stuff. I think Friday, those that get together or definitely want to be distributors or are distributors. Anyone else? Is there anything yeah. we're missing? Yeah, Thank you. I, have a, I have a couple of things. Um, oh, by the way, uh, Ira, I'm working yeah. on the uh, the Airbnb I started okay, today. Cool. I, I just been so slammed Understood. and there's still so many available that I wasn't worried about it. It's not like they went away. They're still there. So okay. not worried. Posted. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I, have, I have two questions. Number one, um, will the customer loyalty rewards apply to distributors? No, just customers. Okay. Okay. Distributors and now, for the first time ever, are going to be buying product and getting product at a lower price than the subscription right. price. Okay. okay. So that's why they're not, because they the the, the 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 consultant price, we're still calling it distributor, but Understood. the new consultant price is 10% lower than the subscription price. Okay. And my okay. second question is the, the, the at the Life Vantage corporate Facebook site. Uh, they, there's a some, there's an event going on. It says eight, it's a flip the switch thing, and it's at eight p.m. But they don't say what time zone the eight p.m. is. Can I just assume it's always going to be Mountain Time? Yes, I would say so. Yes. Yeah, all of their times because the whole world can be plugging in. So anytime they post a time on that site, it's Mountain Time. Okay, very good, April. Can, and I'm, I'm I'm sorry, I didn't have a pen handy. Can you repeat that eight three three number for me, please? Sure, uh, it's eight three three. Uh-huh. 264-7377. Cool. Thanks very much. And happy birthday, but again, Bob. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Okay. And we need to go. We're meeting my son for my birthday dinner. So any last questions before we go? You know how to reach us. We're I'm, I'm, I feel like we finally come up for air. It's been quite the stretch after being in Mexico. Um, and coming back and then hosting this and stuff. So we're we're good now. We want to finish the month strong. Look at your subscriptions tomorrow. Look at your where you are with all the different programs the company's running. And if you have questions, just just let us know because we still have a week to go. But okay.
So mark, change Monday nights to Sundays at eight. Just change that, okay? Because that starts next Sunday and I'll send out text on that as just like I always do. Have a good night. Bye, everybody.